in short the the fundamental way of using this relevance feedback for query expansion is basically considering a centroid so the centroid is i hope you can understand that if there are i mean if we consider a space containing some points the centroid is basically the center of mass of this set of points so let's say the centroid is somewhere so we can understand that there will be different uh, type of points uh, that will be there in this space this space can be of i mean can be containing many aspects many different topics and each uh, basically point in this very brief i mean very lame diagram we can consider them as an individual document from that topic so in total let's consider here are four topics associated with blue uh, then red then green and then say black okay so earlier when we started our discussion on making this retrieval models we started with representing we started with making this term incidence vector or term incidence matrix from that every document we basically represented using a high dimensional space so in the term incidence matrix let's say by i mean by the column we are representing the term let's say the the collection is containing n number of unique terms and say this these are the documents d1 d2 up to say dm there are m number of documents so basically every document is basically a vector here this is the vector of the document which represent a point here in this space so considering this representation all the document can be represent can be represented in an abstract space like this every document will be a point here and based on the topic that the document is talking about we can actually club them together as well like we can perform some class studying as well so considering let's say one particular topic that is if we consider a set of document in this space we can of course compute the centroid of that set of documents let's say if we consider only the documents with color blue we can perform some computation to get the centroid of these all these blue dots and based on that we will be basically using uh, i mean using this we will be basically uh, uh, utilizing this relevance feedback information now how basically again let's consider this is the space and let's say these blue dots are basically the dots which are basically associated with those documents which are marked as relevant while performing the relevance feedback stage so what we need to do is we need to compute the centroid of all these terms so the centroid will be somewhere here mathematically the centroid of a set of document here d is basically a set of document so here it is written centroid of a set of document d is basically i mean if we consider this kind of a vector representation here d is basically here this this kind of is basically the vector of so this is you can see this is and this they are basically different this is in block so this is basically the vector of 
this D. So for all D, let's say in this example six document, we will be basically creating the centroid or computing the centroid based on their vector addition, then dividing by the normalization factor, which is basically in this case we can simply consider the number of documents in that set. Here it will be basically six. So what we need to do is let's say altogether there are say 100 number of unique terms here so t1 up to t100 for each dimension so all this is basically considered as each dimension so the abstract space is 100 dimensional so each document if we consider d if we consider the wake of d it will be basically 100 dimensional uh so it will be basically the summation of all these so if we consider say d1 so if we just consider say any di and dj sorry D, j and say di we will be basically adding this to adding this to adding this to this individual components to make the final so basically the wake of uh, di plus dj will be basically made by clubbing them together like this component added to this component and so on and after that for each of the dimension we need to divide that by the number of documents so here in this case by 2 so basically this needs to be done here by 2 all right so considering this kind of a representation, the algorithm that we will be discussing is called Rokio relevance feedback method or Rokio's algorithm for relevance feedback. So remember this kind of a vector representation we used while performing the vector space retrieval model using TFIDF weighting, where we have stored basically the TFIDF weights of individual documents of, uh, of individual terms in this individual document here and basically in the vector space model i hope you remember is basically similar similar to the earlier concept that we have just discussed all the documents are basically represented as a vector so and so on so basically all the documents will be basically a space in this abstract vector space and the dimension will be basically the number of terms in the vocabulary so here rokio basically maximize the difference between the average similarities of relevant and non relevant document what is this we'll be discussing in a bit so mathematically rokio's algorithm looks like this so we will be basically considering the optimized query or the optimal query as the argmax of q which is basically all the representation where similarity of q with the centroid of this is basically the set of relevant documents and this is basically the centroid of non relevant documents Again, I'm repeating similarity between the query and so similarity between the query, the initial query and the centroid of rail doc. So this is basically the marked rail doc, marked, I mean, after relevance feedback, these are basically the mark drill dog. So this is this, this entire thing. And here, this other component is basically, this component is basically similarity between the query vector and the centroid of marked non drill dog. 
so here as i have mentioned we will be maximizing the difference between the average similarity here this is basically the similarity and we are basically considering the i mean we'll be considering that query which is basically maximizing this difference now this will be again clear much more clear with another representation which is discussed from the documents point of view here all these things are very uh, very abstract let's consider a basic space let's say it is two dimensional the space is two dimensional now these are basically the the round ones are basically the relevant documents there are 10 relevant documents which are not relevant documents and this cross are basically the non relevant documents in total there are six marked non relevant document so what we will be doing is we will be computing the centroid so this will be basically the centroid of the set of the marked relevant document we will be considering a threshold around it similarly we will be considering the centroid of the set of non relevant documents marked non relevant document and together with this two centroids this set of non relevant document and non relevant document we will be basically considering their difference vector difference note that everything here is basically vectors so q is basically the query and this cap this q in block q in bold character is basically the vector of q uh, earlier i hope you remember that while writing this d was the document and this d in uh, block letter in 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 bold in bold letter is basically the vector of d so now what we will be doing is we will be basically considering their difference which is basically the difference between the centroid of relevant document and centroid of non relevant document which will be basically somewhere here so we will be basically adding the difference vector to qr which is basically uh, basically mu r sorry not qr so this is basically the mu r the uh, relevance set the known relevance set to get the optimized centroid remember again i am repeating this vector is the vector associated with the centroid of the vector centroid of the relevance set known relevance set this is the vector associated with the known non relevance set our target is to maximize this difference our target is to maximize this difference now earlier if we consider this as the centroid you can see some non relevant documents are also being considered in the say epsilon neighborhood but now after maximizing the difference as we are getting this as the optimized query this will be containing only the relevant documents and not the non relevant documents remember for the i mean when we considered this as the centroid the circle was like this which was basically considering one non relevant document in the circle as well that is inside this uh, uh, in, in this epsilon neighborhood but here after maximizing the difference we are getting to a point where the space uh, where, where basically the epsilon neighborhood if we consider around this modified centroid which is basically the centroid of the or basic, which is basically the vector of associated with the optimized query or the optimal query this will be discriminating the relevant document from the non relevant one so here q of or optimal q separates relevant and non relevant documents perfectly as you can understand 